I'm Lakeisa Renee, and I'm here at Sundance 2024 with the legendary, iconic Anjanou. How are you, beautiful? I'm all right. How you doing? I am wonderful, and I'm just loving your hair and this fit. Can you tell me who you're wearing? Because I'm in the fashion, as you can see. <laughs> see? Well, I saved up all my money, all of my money, and I got this Burberry, this Burberry coat. You understand what I'm saying? All of my money. <laughs> Well, it was worth the spend, okay. All right, so tell me about your role in the film and how you got involved. Well, I, uh, Titus Kafar reached out to me, and uh, I guess, God, last year, and he said that he wanted to talk to me about his, this movie that he's making. I just think he's one of the most important voices in American uh, visual art. And we started talking, and, um, you know, you never know whether these things are going to happen or not. But it happens, and here I am. So give me a time in your life where you had to exhibit forgiveness. Ooh. I uh, All the time with family, you know what I mean? Like, you have to do it all the time. Uh, you know, I love that phrase, do you want to be right or do you want to be alone? So I have to do that all the time with my family. Just so I choose joy, trying to choose joy. Yes. So you've been in so many classic films and, and TV shows and things of that nature. What's your favorite role and why? Oh, uh, my favorite role and why. I played, uh, I played the mother of the Clark sisters, and that was my favorite role. Because I played the mother of the Clark sisters. <laughs> yeah, one of my friends is actually a makeup artist for the Clark sisters, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, you have Tanya's brush. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, yes, they're my idols. Nine two. So I know you've been in the career, this industry, for so long. What do you want to give, um, some advice you want to give to up and coming, especially women of color, actresses, producers, anything in that lane? What's some advice you want to give them on navigating this industry? Because it can be really difficult, especially for women like us. Yeah. I would say, I would say follow, you, follow your own path. I know that sounds cliche, but don't try to be like anybody but you. And I, I, any time that I've ever gone in that direction, I have fell off the path. So I, I recommend don't be anybody but you. Stay true, true to yourself. True to yourself. Yeah. Hi, my name is Ingenue Ellis Taylor, and shout out to Culture Focus Magazine. What's up? Thank you so much. My pleasure. Hey, my name is Andre Holland. I play Terrell in the movie. And I got involved because a good friend of mine, Terrell McCraney, is a good friend of Titus Kafar's. And uh, he introduced us, and we hit it off as artists and uh, wanted to work together. So here we are. So tell me a little bit about working with the cast and crew. Like, any special memories at all from the set? I mean, so many, so many special memories. I think the first one that comes to mind, you know, it's a very emotional story. And one of the things that comes to mind is uh, a night when we were shooting a scene between myself and John Jokes, who plays my father. Titus was directing it, and, you know, it was a very emotional uh, scene. And about halfway through it, we all had to stop take a little time out and just, you know, collect ourselves. I'll leave it like that. Uh, I think that it was a really wonderful moment to, to feel three black men uh, trying to heal, you know, and trying to be open with each other about, about the grieving process. So that's one of my favorite memories. All right, so give me a time in your life where you had to exhibit forgiveness. <laughs> well, I be having to ask forgiveness all the time. Well, <laughs> and exhibit it, too. Um, I, think, I think exhibiting forgiveness for myself has probably been the, the biggest journey for me. Uh, I can be very hard on myself at times, and um, learning how to be gentler with myself has been a, has been a lesson for me. Yeah. And on another note, I did want to say I really loved your performance in Moonlight. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. I was a younger man back then, but I appreciate it. But hey, I don't look like what I've been through. So, <laughs> What's up, Culture Focus Magazine? Keep doing what you do. Hi, I'm Lakeisa Renee with Culture Focus Magazine. I'm here on the red carpet with the Grammy Award and Emmy Award winning, Andrew Day. How are you doing today? I'm so good. Thank you for saying Emmy because I'll tell you off camera, I discovered that recently. <laughs> I was like, thank you. So, you're welcome. So tell me about your role in the film. Uh, I, you know, I, I play Aisha. So I played Terrell's, who is played by Andre Hall, and I play his wife. And, uh, you know, Aisha is just... Aisha's a very driven person, but I think she's driven in every aspect of her life, not just her music, but even in her family. I think her and her husband both come from 
you know, a broken home. I hate to say broken home. It's just, it's a different growing up experience. But um, I think they both come from trauma. And I think that they both had a determination to build a healthy home life, to be great parents to their son and to, um, and to love each other and to love each other well, which for me, wow, why am I getting so emotional? It really... It just moved me in the film because, and, and that's what the song, she's a singer songwriter and that's what the song in the film is really about is being able to do that. So she's a support, um, you know, but I think she's a support by, by being consistently herself and, and, and loving him the way he's always known her love. Thank you so much and have a great premiere. My name is John Earl Jelks. I played Laron and Exhibiting Forgiveness. So how did you get involved with the film? Um, how did I get involved with the film was that I had to audition twice and I'm glad that the second audition was the charm because when I talked to the producer I told him the only thing that was missing from this film was me and I was being totally honest I mean it was a great script it was all the characters just jumped off the page and I said well you know if you hire me you're gonna have a complete film you know what I mean because I think that the only thing that's missing is me so how was it working with the cast and crew I'm gonna say it was a master class because everyone brought their own individual technique and and things that they knew best about their characters. So it wasn't easy to work with no one on this set because everyone knew exactly what they was doing and what they was bringing to the film. So how are you enjoying the festival so far? The festival so far is great. I mean, I get a chance to see beautiful people dressed up, looking good, you know what I mean, and come here to have a good time. Um, this is my third trip, actually. Yeah, I came here uh, first time in 2000, so 24 years later. I know I look every bit of it, and that's okay, you know what I mean? But yeah, I came here the first time in 2020, 2000. Yep. This is my third time here, too. So I have a question for you. When was a time where you had to exhibit forgiveness in your life? Give me an example of that. Um, here's, a, here's a great example. I remember I had to tell a long-life friend that something had happened in our friendship that I didn't know how to forgive him for. And so I waited a long time. When I say waited a long time, it was like 30 years. And it was really because it was heavy on my heart. And then I realized in order for me to grow and for me to move on, I've got to find a way to forgive him. Even if I don't forget. And this is the whole thing about forgiveness. And that's what I learned from this is that even if you don't forget, forgiving will set you free. You've got to forgive them for yourself. Here.